Hey guys, it's M4J here and welcome back to my Steamish Career Helm Foot Manager 2018. We are in the playoffs. We're playing Rotherham. We're away from home, first and foremost. Um, and then we'll be at home, hopefully with the sellout crowd. Let's get into the game, first game. I'm a little bit nervous, to tell you the truth. I feel like the squad have it in them to win. That's the main thing. And if you have that feeling... Um, then you tend to feel pretty positive going into matches like this. However, there is always the chance of a banana skin. And um, I'm very, very conscious of the fact that we have thrown away leads in the past where perhaps we shouldn't have. I'm just looking to see if there's anyone in my reserves that I could promote to the first team um, to perform in this game. I don't really think there is. Brett Pittman was a bit of a disappointment in the end, to be honest. I think he's still a very good player. He's leaving at the end of the season, though. I mean, I don't know. I mean, my my coach is rating quite high still. Does he want to stay? Yeah, he wants to continue playing regular football and doesn't think he can do it here. Uh, I just want to check me doing that hasn't affected match plans. Nope, good. Right, submit team. Uh, Mason still isn't fit enough for this game. He might well be fit enough for the second game. I don't want to take any chances here. Kenlock's fit. He's actually been playing quite well. So we'll uh, we'll continue with him. Uh, any team would miss a player of his caliber. Blah, 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 blah. Let's play some football. Here we go. Right, usual thing. Want to get off to a good start. Don't want to concede in the first few minutes. Would like to not concede at all during this game. It looks like they've got a sellout. It did say beforehand 11,600 tickets have been sold, which, I mean, we can't compete with that. Our stadium's nearly half the size of theirs. So, um, you know, they're definitely going to have the crowd on their side in this game. So if we can get some good play in early, maybe score an early goal, make their fans nervous, then that should transcend down onto the pitch make them nervous. It's a really good opportunity there very early on. Then has Fadoos with the shot in the end. Good play from from Barmby and Kenlock to uh, to make the opportunity there. We have an early corner though. Delph will take into the middle. Easy catch for the keeper. For some reason the uh, the near post far post attackers just didn't move. All right, easy one for Kenlock to bring down. Lobs it over the top to Felivi. Nice ball to Farouz. Samuel running through. Is he going to have a shot? Oh. Nine times out of ten there. He just slid that under the keeper. It looks like the players are up for this after all. Three minutes in. We've had two shots. Two on target. They're yet to have even a shot. Another easy move. This time from Bellic. Although the header wasn't that convincing. Ball's played through to English. Good tackle, but they get the shot. Of course they score. As soon as I say they haven't scored, of course they were going to go score. John Taylor with the goal. That was poor play from Bellick. He had a free header there. He could have brought it down if he wanted to. De Silva out muscled. Edwards with the ball over the top. Jones was quite out of position as well, to be fair. He made a good tackle. Uh, and then it was Kenlock not picking up Taylor created the chance oh dear it's fine it's fine we can turn it around plenty of time left we're into overload now for the next 10 minutes oh, English with another chance crosses it in Kone's header Fryer with a catch come on boys calm down Jones with the throw. Delph heads it back to him. Jones with the ball down the line. That's a nice one to Felivi. Ferruz is free in the area. Cross comes in. Ferruz gets in. 1-1. One, one. I love this team. I love this team when they get the ball down like that and run it down the lines. That's a fantastic attack. From nothing as well, pretty much. A nothing throw in. Normally these have the possession turned over. Delph with the header back. And Jones knows he can just pump it down the line and someone will run onto it. It wasn't Samuel this time, it was Felivi. And look at Farouz just breaking off his man there. Late run into the box. Defender thought he had it covered. 
Farouz runs in front of him and just dumps it into the back of the net. Good finish. Right, now we switch to the 4-2-3-1 with Farouz still playing as the attacking midfielder this time, which is nice. I guess because he just scored, so his rating didn't drop low enough for him to be subbed off. That's uh, quite nice to see. I know that the substitutes are based on match ratings. I've seen that in the past. There you go, we've seen out the 10 minutes, I think. We've gone back to the 4-4-2. Uh, the Good. That's when the match plans work really nicely, and I really enjoy watching them. It's when you score or concede, and the way the team changes and adapts to the shape, uh, and then changes back after the, uh, the emergency is over. Jones with the throw. Delph with the flick on. Headed out by Volks to Hurst. He kicks it down the line. Segura with a really good interception there. Kenlock into De Silva. Tries to play it around the corner to Barmby. Well cut out by the defender. Segura with the other next ball forward. Intercepted. Hurst on it now. Plays it out wide to Taylor. Kenlock tra tracking him. Wins it off him well. Launches it forward. Headed away from Felivi. De Silva controls it nicely. That's a good ball over the top. Felivi running onto it. Farouz is miles offside in the middle. Felivi with the shot not convinced by that at all not his finest moment there for Levy to be fair though Farouz just seemed to keep running offside so I don't know what he was trying to do either we are we are controlling this game quite nicely I think we've had sort of an equal number of chances but um, overall we've had actually possessions 50-50 as well so maybe it's not as uh, as nice as I thought. What about clear-cut chances? Even that's level. Crikey. In that case, it's just a very well-contested game of football. Oh, that's a poor pass. Easy interception for Barmby. Ball over the top to Felivi. Farouz again taking up space in the middle. Far Felivi went for goal again. A bit unnecessary for him. I guess he wants to score, but focus on the team first, mate, and then you can worry about yourself. If you set up Farouz, chances are later on in the match, Farouz through on goal, he'll set you up. Guess he's going for the golden boot or something. I'm trying to think why he would, why he'd want to be selfish. Because most of the season he's been a really good team player. Guess it's just because the number of goals he scored, he wants to continue his his run going. Which you know I'm not entirely against that. Sometimes players do get selfish when they're in a rich goal scoring form. Game's definitely quietened down a bit now. As we approach the last five minutes of the first half. Stats wise, we are starting to turn things a bit more in our favour. Certainly having more shots, having more shots on target, more possession. And here's another highlight. Delph plays it to Barmby. Out wide to Kenlock. He whips it in. Oh, that was Farouz with the shot. I think Felivi knocked it on for him. So maybe he has learnt the uh, the art of teamwork after all. It's a good block by their keeper. Delph with a free kick. Into the middle. Taylor runs onto the loose ball here. Launches it forward to Kone. Good play, Kenlock. On it back. Then he passes it forward. Farouz running onto it. Picks out Felivi. Tried to curl it into the top corner and it goes way wide. I believe he's struggling a little bit. He's only playing a 6.8 in this game. Not his best match for us. That is half time. One all, half time. Pretty happy with that. We did well to come back into it so quickly after going to goal down. They led for five minutes. I think at this point the crowd are on their back a little bit. They're booing us when we got the ball, that's for sure. Bambi has literally run that out of play. Kone throw to Hurst. Taylor. Back to Kone. Put some pressure on him there. Ball forward to Edwards. Out wide to Taylor. Long ball over the top. That's a good one actually. English with the first time shot. High and wide. 
if he'd have just carried that a little bit towards our goal, we'd have been in real trouble then. We um, got let off the hook a little bit there. Alright, I'm not going to panic. I'm not going to panic. We're doing okay. Got a few 6.5s there, but the match plan will kick in soon. And they'll probably be subbed off. I can see Bjordal being brought on for Samuel. And I can probably see... Actually, maybe not. I was about to say someone coming on for Bellic, but I don't think... I don't think Phillips is a, a worthy enough candidate for them to make the substitution. Hmm, maybe maybe Longstaff on for Delph. We'll find out in a minute. Alright, Kenlock with the throw to Farouz. Tried to find Samuel, but it was cut out. Edwards on the ball now. Segura dived in a little bit, but Kenlock managed to win it, so we've not been made to pay. Back to Fryer. Long ball over the top. Yeah, Farouz was always second favourite there. Felivi now on the ball, and he's gone for goal again. What is he doing? He's getting a little bit too selfish now for my liking. Maybe he'll be brought off in a minute. Maybe Hancock will come on for him, or Godden at a push. Yeah, he's playing a 6.6, .6, getting progressively worse as the game goes on. So I can certainly see that happening. Even Farouz, the goal scorer, he's down to a 6.9. Bambi, 7.1. Make of that what you will. Alright, their throw. Gross, uh, Goss with the ball. Vos, Vokins, sorry. Vokings. I keep going to say Voskins. It's not his name. Felivi, good ball over the top. Finding Farouz, who went for goal. Easy save for O'Donnell. Something you've got to remember, actually, is Felivi did get the assist for the goal. He's just not played very well since. Header forward, Felivi brings it down nicely. Oh, he tried to pass it out wide to Samuel. Not the best execution. Now they're on the counter-attack with English. Jones following him, who's on a yellow. Cross comes in. Bellick heads it up. Knocked down to Goss. Ooh, good save, Fryer. Bellick and Segura both going for the same ball. That kind of counters what I was saying in the last episode about one of them attacks whilst the other defends. Not so much. Corner was cut out. Taylor now on the ball. To Goss. Into the middle. Headed away by Jones to Samuel. He's got space to turn and run. Puts the ball over the top. That's a really nice ball to Barmby. First time pass to Farouz. Couldn't but get past his man. And the ball cleared by O'Donnell to Edwards who's in acres of space here tries to find English over the top he manages to get away from Jones crosses it in easy for Fryer the game is really starting to open out now we're still having the lion's share of chances but in terms of uh, possession in the action zones it's pretty even if you ask me coming up to the moment where the match plan kicks in again Let's see who comes off and who comes on, shall we? Alright, should be after this highlight. Ball in from Delft. So good as header. Caught by O'Donnell. Match plan. Do you want to change? Apparently not. Apparently not. Maybe it's the 85th minute when we're drawing. I thought it was the 75th first and then the 85th. Hmm. I mean, we'll see what happens on the 85th. That might be leaving it a bit late to make changes, though. I keep saying making tactical changes and then nothing happens. Alright, De Silva with the header. Barmby knocks it forward to Felivi. He's got Samuel on the near side. He looks for him. Easily cut out by Vokins. Ball long towards Edwards. Segura with a good header. Delft brings it down. Finds Felivi. He's got Barmby and Farouz running. Looks for Barmby. Into Farouz. Shoots. Goal. Get in. Okay, maybe now it will change because we're winning. With 10 minutes to go. I don't know. Great header there by Segura. Delph with a nice pass here to Felivi. 
played it a little bit behind Barmby. I think Barmby took a risk there playing it first time as well. But Farouz definitely caught O'Donnell out there. Tidy finish into the bottom left corner. Can't complain about that. There we go. We've changed formation again. Or have we? Maybe not. I think we've changed style. I don't think we've changed formation. And there's the subs. The silver off, long stuff on. Coming up to the 85th minute, I reckon the other two subs will be made then. Oh, Samuel could have perhaps sneaked in and won the ball there. Long staff to Delph. Into Fadouz. He's tackled. Dalton on the ball now. Over the top. Segura with the header. Delph knocks it down to Longstaff. Good play from him. Into Fadouz. Round the corner to Felivi. Intercepted as he tried to find Barmby. There, Jones on the ball now. Kenlock closing him down. Finds Dalton into Goss. His shot blocked. Shoots again wide. I mean, their chances aren't convincing, but they're still quite worrying. We are going to have to be on our guard here. We have switched to the 4 2 3 1. Is that three minutes added? They're on the attack. Volks with the throw. Good claim by Fryer. Great claim by Fryer. Delft's injured. That's not good. Oh, I don't want Delft to miss out on the next game. Do I make the sub? I'm going to have to make the sub. Alright, Fadouz. Good ball over the top. Finds Samuel. Oh, he's shooting now. What's he doing? Right, I'm going to bring on... Actually, hang on. I'm not going to do it like that. I'm going to do it like this. Uh, so, Delph, I'm going to drop back here. Longstaff is going to drop back here. And we're going to bring on Phillips for Delph. Just to try and see out the game. Okay. Felivi on the ball. Lays it through nicely to Barmby. Takes it to the byline. Cuts it back. Just over the top of Samuel's head. English in so much space there. Picks out Jones. Dalton. They're attacking in waves now. Goss. I'm quite happy to let Goss shoot, to be honest. He's, he's not been great today. Just a little bit disappointing. If you're a Rotherham fan, watching him. Good header away. Kenlock chasing it down. Keeps it in nicely. Good ball down the line. Picking out Barmby. It's four against one. Play it in the middle. Swings it in. Samuel. There you go. Game over. At least for this tie. Still got to play the return leg, of course. There you go. That's exactly, exactly what I want this team to do. Look at this from Kenlock. Great play to Barmby. And look at Farouz and Felivi bombing forward. Samuel on the far side as well. Played it in. And Samuel chases it all the way. Toe pokes it past the keeper. Brilliant finish. Brilliant team goal. Very well played. That's exactly the system that I like to employ. And it's not over still. Samuel with a chance maybe. Rather than throw. Alright, that should be full time now. Nope. We're still playing. Okay, Taylor. Tries to cross. Blocked. Crosses it this time. Headed away. Comes to Goss. He finds Ford. Shot blocked. Ford chasing it down. So it's Longstaff. He boots it out for a throw in. When you're ready, ref. We've only played a minute and a half longer than you signalled. Nearly two minutes now. Volks with the throw. Long throw from him. Segura heads it up. Taylor. Phillips hacks it away. And that's full time. <sighs> Happy with that. Happy with that. Went a goal down early. Did really well to come back. And then we scored twice more. That'd be a sucker punch to Rotherham. But that's a really good motivator for us. Delph is injured. One to two days with a bruised knee. That's absolutely fine. Farouz was superb in front of goal. And we continue for the second leg. Which is in three days time. So we might as well just continue the game and not make any cuts. Makes editing a lot easier. 
So this game, really, I should be doing a match plan just to set up and play defensive, but I'm not going to. Um, might as well just play the Stevens way and uh, and see how well we do. So long as we don't lose by two goals, we'll, we'll be fine. Even if we lose by one goal, we'll still go through on uh, an aggregate score. What's this? Jones should be dropped. Getting Jones's poor run of form for Steamridge is simply not going to earn him an Australia call up. I think he's done okay. I mean, he's had some bad matches. He's been subbed off a fair few times. But he's not the worst player in the team. Not by a long shot. When he really gets going on that right hand side, him and Samuel can run rings around the opposition. And the fact, I mean, you saw there, towards the end of the game, they were having chances down their left hand side. Jones apparently not playing very well. He, he dealt with a lot of them. Every now and then one's going to slip through, but I wouldn't blame the player for that. I'd just blame the team as a whole for not dealing with the cross once it comes into the box kind of thing. Alright, come on game. Okie dokie. Bjordel and Phillips need match fitness, but they're not getting it today. Uh, my lone players, by the way. I mean, look at Hardy. Joe Hardy. He's on loan at Tranmere, who are in the National League, I believe. 28 appearances, plus 16 sub-appearances, which is 44 appearances. 22 goals, 14 assists. Pretty good. Pretty good. Average rating, 7.2. Tranmere are in the National League, aren't they? Yeah, they're third. So he could be getting promoted to the Football League. And Omar is also doing pretty well. Average rating is 6.8. Uh in 44 appearances as well. Nice. It means they're playing every game as well. It's always encouraging to see. And Afuso, who I said last episode was now on loan at uh, Kidderminster, he's also playing really well for them. I think he won Player of the Month, actually. So, uh, it's nice to see. It's a shame that they couldn't get into my first team. And, to be honest, if we do get promoted, I'm going to move them all on. Because I'll either loan them out again and I'll have another good season, or I can just let them join the club full-time. Okay, here we go. So Delph is in a good condition. Awesome. Mason, uh, he's actually going the other way still. Is is I mean his match fitness is obviously dropping because he's not played for a little while. But his overall condition is still in the seventies. So I don't really want to risk him if I can help it. So I think I'm just going to keep the uh, the same squad, which to be honest I've kept the majority of this squad for the whole of the second half of the season. Um, particularly since the turn of, of, um, of, sorry, the end of January, the start of February, it's been pretty much this eleven. Uh, obviously, Mason here instead. Kenlock was on the bench, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with the uh, the consistent performances that the team are putting in now. So let's go into the game. Fabian Delph is struggling. We'll start him at least. If he is really, really struggling, then hopefully the match plan kicks in and, and brings him off. Um. Perhaps it's a bit of a risk. I did save the game just now, didn't I? I think I did. Alright, could be the last time we see De Silva and Barmby. I hope not, actually. I'd like to agree terms with Barmby again. I will go back in to uh, negotiations, perhaps after the playoff final. If we make it, of course. Otherwise, I'll go in after this match. But uh, De Silva, I'd like to keep De Silva. Whether it's on loan or sign in permanently. Oh, Bambi was about to win that then. Alright, Delph's on 78%. So he is definitely not going to last the 90. Unless the match plan screws us over. Fryer with the big kick forward. Headed away from Fadoos. He's got to stop kicking it towards Fadoos. Felivi's the target man. Oh dear. Same same as last game. Very early in the match, we were 1-0 down. Not a good start. Not a good start. That's literally from a, a long ball forward from our keeper. Headed down by Rowe. No midfield presence there at all. Cammy's played it through for Edwards and... Yeah, the rest 
The rest is pretty easy for him, to be honest. Just slot it under the keeper. All right, we've gone into overload four two three one. Let's get back into this. Is it overload? Oh no, apparently it's counter. It's not overload. So they're only a goal behind now. Not a good start. All right, and we switch back to four four two. So we stop them scoring twice. So that's fine. And they got a free kick here though. Played it short to Taylor. That's it. Stand him up. Force him backwards. Vokin's on the ball now. Get out and at them. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, good save. Good save, Fryer. And Kenlock with a good challenge there as well. This is nervous. You remember the last time we were in the playoffs against Yeovil? We won by a goal in the end on aggregate. I think we were four goals up going into the second leg. Our team does not make it easy for us, do they? We should be playing a lot better than this. Fedus is a 6.5. Barnby's a 6.5. Samuel's a 6.5. Uh, Segura's a 6.5. couple of 6.6s there. The highest is a 6.9, and that is Delph who is our least fit player. So, um, not good. Not good. Let's hope we can turn things around. Like to turn things around before half-time if possible, but that doesn't look like it's going to be the case. Oh, Samuel's dropped to a 6.3 now. So is Fadu's. I can see them both being subbed off. How many minutes? One minute added on. So that's pretty much going to be half time now. Yep, there we go. Okay. Send him out for the second half. Fire a rocket up them. Let's see what they can do. Delft to Fadouz. Barmby's running on the outside. Looks for him. Finds him. What can Barmby do? Tries to cross it. Out for a throw. Alright, Kenlock with the throw. Two to Silver. Back to Kenlock. He crosses it in. Samuel loses the header, but Delph picks up the loose ball. Plays it out to Jones. Down the line to Samuel. Inside to Falivi. Picks out to Silver. Into Falivi. Good shot. Good save. And Fadu's offside. I think Bambi should have gone for that one there. Good save for my Donnell. His kick forward headed down to Dalton. Around the corner to Taylor. He crosses it in. Fryer. Easy catch. There's a lot of highlights in this game. How are we doing stats wise? Oh, we're not having enough shots. That's the problem. Right, Segura. Not the best pass forward from him. He's won it back here though. Plays it to Fryer. Is he going to go long? He is. It's towards Barmby. He looked like he gave up on that actually. Comes off Taylor's back to Barmby. Into Fadouz. Over to Felivi. Oh, he's put it wide. Don't tell me he's out of form now. That's the worst time of the season to be out of form. It's been a long old season for some of these players. I think it is starting to tell a little bit. Right, Jones around the corner to Samuel. He's got space to run into here. Skips past his man. He's so good at doing that. Low cross in. Felivi shot. Blocked. Corner. Couldn't quite get the rebound shot away. That's better though. We're making chances now. Corner in from Delph. Oh, it was a bouncer. Segura now. He lays it back to De Silva on the edge of the box. No one to pass it to. He's giving it away to Taylor. They've got to get back now. Taylor on the ball. Barmby 
standing him up nicely and winning it back. Okay, we're starting to get more shots. We need to get more chances. We've only had one clear cut chance all game. That's not enough. We need more than that. We could do with an equaliser. Even if this game finishes one all, that still means we win by two goals on aggregate, which is a lot more comfortable than it is currently. Delph is starting to look very, very tired. 55%. Do I wait for the match plan? Problem is, if I don't let the match plan take effect, then match plan won't be in effect for the rest of the game, which means I'm going to have to control everything, which is very annoying. For Levy to Jones, he crosses it in. Ah, oh, Farouz brought it down brilliantly, just couldn't get the shot away properly. It is a corner, and it's Bambi who's taken it. Headed out as far as Samuel. He crosses it in. Oh, I just needed someone to attack it. Come on, match plan. Bring off Delph. Do the wise thing. Not long to go. Jones heads it down nicely for Samuel. Needs a runner. He's got one. Jones with it. Can he cross it in? He can. It's not a bad ball, just no one in the middle attacking it. Comes to Delph. Oh dear. Not the best shot in the world from him. Come on, just take us to 75 minutes. Let us make the subs. It's got to bring him off if he's on 53%. i tell you what, if, it, if they take off the silver now, I'll be fuming. Kenlock with the free kick. Oh, beautiful. I was literally about to say, surely he's not going to shoot from there. That's a great goal. Is that his first goal for us? No. Doesn't look like it is. I can't remember his other goal for us, though. He must have scored one. Round the wall. Caught out O'Donnell there. Great finish. Right, match plans. Kick in. Any second now. There we go. It's changed the system, at least. Coming up to the 75th minute. Right, yes. Delph off, Longstaff on, and Hancock has come on for Felivi. Good subs, actually. They're probably the ones I would have actually made. Uh, maybe Barmby off in a little bit as well. And put on Bjordal. Although I have a feeling they're going to bring on Godden for Farouz. We'll find out. Change the 4 3 one Oh, it was Bjordal who came on, and it was Samuel that went off. Hmm. Wasn't expecting that, actually. So we've now got uh, Longstaff playing DM. We've got De Silva and well, Hancock's playing DM as well for some reason. Uh, De Silva playing centre midfield. Barmby on the left, Bjordal on the right. Farouz as the attacking midfielder. We don't have a striker in this formation. Farouz with the long kick forward into the middle comes back out to Farouz used to be a bit quicker there almost gave it away I don't even know what that was I don't even want to know what that was that's not wasting time that's just giving them the ball back we've got a very tired defence now as well that's a very stupid thing to do Farouz that's the thing the other thing about match plans is currently it's playing this as an individual game and not counting the fact that there's a first tie result as well. So the match plan is still trying to win the g game, I think. Actually, that's not true. That's not true, because it went for the uh, the non-striker formation, didn't it? So maybe it has taken it into account. Yeah, must have done. Winning with five minutes to go, or whatever it is. Hancock, good header from him. That's the one advantage of having him playing as a more defensive role, I suppose, is he's got the heading ability. He's got good passing as well, actually, to be fair. Bjordal, poor pass from him. He's not got a very good passing ability. Not from what I've seen, anyway. He's had a very, very poor season. I think I might loan him out. Even if I don't sell him next season, I can't imagine he'll be in the first team. There we go, full time. We have made it to the final. Nice. Player of the match was Kenlock with his goal, of course effectively sewing it up for us. We had already 
one even if we if finish one nil. Uh, who do we play in the final? Do we know yet? Don't think we do know yet. Let me. Oh, there they go. Wimbledon. I oh, know it's friendly, isn't it? Yeah, I set up some friendlies as well, off uh, off camera. Okay, Swindon are currently winning against Ipswich. Did we have a good run against Swindon? I think Ipswich were the team we really struggled against. Let's see. We drew against Swindon. Where's Ipswich? We beat Ipswich. Okay, and then first half of the season. Uh, there's Swindon. We lost. And there's Ipswich. We lost. Okay, so either team really is a struggle for us. Let's see if we can find out who we're actually playing. And then I'll wrap this episode up and we'll head into the next one. I'm recording uh, two episodes ago, last episode, this episode and next episode all in one block. So that I can get a good running start into next season. That's how I'm able to reference things very easily because I've literally just said it five minutes ago. Alright, let's see who wins this game. Come on game. Uh, Swindon. So we'll be playing Swindon in the final to try and get into the championship. That is quite a nice fixture, actually. I'm quite looking forward to that. We should do quite well against them. Fingers crossed. Until then, though, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and, of course, if you're enjoying the series. Drop some comments down below with ideas for tactics, signings, and staff additions. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.